Hi, this is Casey from Olive Vintage Market. I have been ordering a ton of stuff lately, so I basically have things coming in every day. Um, I have a box here. It's pretty heavy. Uh, the stuff that's in it is usually just as much of a mystery to me as it is to you because I order it a few weeks go by. I almost forget what I get or have ordered or one of these auctions. This particular auction has come from Los Angeles, California. Um, we're in Conway, Arkansas. That's central Arkansas. So you can imagine like the things we have here are completely different from the things they have there. So this is nothing but vintage jewelry. The other day I had a purse, but I don't think a purse is gonna fit in here. At least not one that's gonna carry all the diapers and bottles I need. My goodness. I think I'd be a pro at this. So here's the box, just opened it. Nicely bubble wrapped, all individually packaged. So that's great. So if a stone or something does fall out, we don't have to worry about it. Uh, okay, here's the first piece. It's gonna be a brooch. It is, I mean, it's beautiful. I think most all costume jewelry is beautiful, but you know, no, I'm not alone in that, but today a lot of people don't think so. It's unsigned. There's no signature on it, but this front is just gorgeous. I've got the sun coming in kind of weird, but I think it's perfect for this. These are AB stones. Um, for those who don't know, that's Aurora Borealis because of the effect it makes. So that's beautiful. It's a big old piece. Um, I just, I think that's lovely. All right, let's see what's next. This is a weird piece. It's it's Weiss and it's signed. It's got its little cartouche that says Weiss right here on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's right there. When I'm looking at it from here and on the video, it looks lavender, like a lovely lavender. But when it gets into a different light, I don't know if it's gonna show that on here. It's like a baby blue. That is weird, I've never seen it. I'm pretty sure it's called confetti. That's like the design of the pin because it's just got baguettes kind of thrown all crazy abstract on there. But that is a lovely piece too. My mom always says, show me the back. So I always show the back. All right, next we have, I do like this piece. This piece is very nice because it has all these beautiful rhinestones in it. Um, it is Vendome, uh, I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> it is marked back here uh, because of that cool angle of the sun. You're probably not gonna see it very well, but it's marked right there. And the cool thing about this is, is it's got this great green stone in the middle, which is usually just a rhinestone or a pretty piece of just clear colored glass. This is actually a piece of art glass. I'm never gonna be able to show you here, but I will have pictures at the end, um, like I always do, and I will take up close-ups so you can see the names and everything better on them. But this is art glass. It's got these great white swirls through the stone, and it's just a little something extra that I think just makes this a super cute piece. And it's got everything in it. Uh, you know, I just love it. Okay, so I love vintage and I love antique. Art Deco is one of my favorite airs. And maybe I don't say that a lot, but it is. Um, this is an Art Deco brooch, just lovely. I love it. You could use it as a sash brooch. I mean, I think it's kind of too heavy for a collar brooch, but I mean, I think just right there on the sash or your flapper dress, I think this would just be amazing. It's just regular rhinestones. I don't think these are crystal or anything. I think these are just glass, but I do see that they are shooting at least these big ones here and here are kind of like throwing rainbows, so that's nice. Uh, 
Here's the back. It is sterling too. That's what always, it always makes me excited to find like an old costume jewelry piece that's sterling. Um, I just, I don't know. I like it. You know it's a little bit better quality, obviously, when that happens. Maybe not as rare or something, but I do like a good quality in this old antique jewelry because this is from the 20s and it has the great old clasp on it. I don't know how clear that is. But here's like the clasp and it's one of those ones that just you put back uh, and maybe that there you go maybe you can see it a little bit better there. I've had quite a few of these clasp on some old uh, gold jewelry and silver jewelry. It really is a telltale um, way to know the age. Okay, this is like a big old chunk piece, okay? I, at first I was like, hmm, because I'm not huge on jewelry that feels like it might hang me. <laughs> but this is so cool. It's three strands. It is quite, you know, chunky and it's, you can tell it's got a heft to it. But once you put it on, it's not bad because it lays so nicely on. It just, it really does. It's such a nice, I don't want to say that. It lays so nicely. <laughs> it's signed and it's signed J. Feinberg. And something that maybe a lot of people don't know about Jay Feinberg is this is a vintage piece of jewelry, but Jay Feinberg is Jay Strongwater. Jay Strongwater is the one who does all the great enamel for um, like the picture frames and the trinket boxes. I mean, they do everything. Like they have awesome figurines, but just the most beautiful enamel work on those things and you find them at Macy's and stuff. It's a very expensive high-end uh, decor line and it's Jay Strongwater. But this is Jay Feinberg, but really it's Jay Strongwater as well. It's just under, you know, two different names. But that's, that's an excellent piece. I love that. Okay, I saved this one for last because not everybody knows me very well, but anybody who does know blue, blues it for me. It is my end all be all color. Um, my car is blue. I have a baby girl named Olive. Um, and, <laughs> but my baby bag's blue. My purse is blue. Most all my stuff is blue. I don't wear as much blue because it really clashes with my skin. My very white skin. <laughs> but... These, okay, this is a set I'm super excited about. It's like a peacock theme. Uh, and it's got, oh, I'm going to try to say these stones, but please don't judge me. I'm terrible at saying them. Chetons Ch are like the round ones. Nevettes are these little longer ones. And these with, they are, they almost look like they're upside down. They are Rivoli's, Rivoli's. Uh, sorry guys, I'll have it all written down though. So you'll know how to look it up since I'm just butchering the words here. But here's the great part. We've got two earrings and the brooch. And yes. It is Juliana. If anybody was thinking, is that Juliana? Absolutely. Look at how amazing that is. These have the same, I don't even want to say all the names again, but all these great stones you can see. And I don't know exactly, I know like the ones that are green and pink are called watermelon, but I wonder what the ones that are blue and green are called. But these are just beautiful. And it is verified, Juliana. And if you don't know much about Juliana, they were never signed. You're not going to go and look here and it says Juliana. Um, they always had a paper tag with them. So it's really important to verify your Juliana. And before I even bought this or bid on it, 
uh, I verified it and I was really excited and I have books and stuff to verify but there's also an amazing website it's completely free um, it's called is it juliana.com i'll put it down in the description so you can go there and look it's a very user friendly easy to use so you can go and, and even if you just want to browse but here is this oh man these are just this set i just love so much i can see my mom wearing this i just it feels like a, my mom's piece but it looks like just the prettiest blue, like a peacock. Oh, all right. So that's the jewelry I got today. And I will have pictures at the end so you can see the things closer up. And I will have all of these listed soon. Uh, please check us out on our other sites, such as Instagram and Facebook. And I hope you have a great day. And thanks for watching. Bye.